I am turning on the mini split air conditioner. As I switched on the electricity, the motherboard LED light flashes and is switched off. I have turned on the indoor unit with the remote control. The analyzer is turning on all the IGBT from the IPM. The compressor has also started. The motherboard is making the compressor to speed up its RPM. And suddenly, the motherboard stopped working, and with it, obviously, the compressor also stopped. The lights on the motherboard are flashing. The switching relay also stops, the LED light will flash in different patterns. The indoor is working at 16 degrees Celsius. But it shows the F1 error code after some time. The relay of the motherboard has now stopped working. The LED 1, 2, and 3. All are blinking slowly now. Let me tell you what this error means. The company tells that when the IPM goes bad, it will show this F1 error. Other than this, these wires attached to the compressor is a loose connection or are not connected. Still, the F1 error will be displayed. Other than this, the winding of the compressor has gone bad, or it is mechanically jammed or locked. This means the fault is from the IPM to the compressor. The motherboard will show the F1 error. But right now, the situation is a little different. Because the compressor is starting. And all the IGBT are turning on, which is shown on the analyzer. Now let's find out this fault and check why the compressor stops while it speeds up. It has been one hour since this motherboard has been turned on. The LED lights are still blinking the same and the display has not shown the F1 error code till now. The customer also told me that the air conditioner is not showing any error. But he called me again to say that the unit is displaying an F1 error. Let me show that picture. And then I will find out why the motherboard stopped the compressor when speeding it up. This is the photo that the customer sent me. It is not a clear photo, but we can see that the error is F1. Now the first thing I will check is electricity. I have placed two multimeters to check the motherboard. I will check the electricity with the main supply for any voltage drop. I have attached the other two probes of the multimeter with the rectifier DC pin. The DC electricity is filtered and boosted through these capacitors. I will turn on the unit. And I have attached the analyzer with it, after passing electricity through the unit. The electricity is flowing through the motherboard. The compressor and the analyzer have started. We are getting 229 AC voltages and 271 DC. The DC voltages are dropping. The AC voltages are stable. And as the DC voltages dropped, the compressor also stopped working before increasing its RPM. Now I have attached the clamp meter probes with the rectifier's AC electricity pins. I have powered on the unit again. The compressor has started. Let's see whether AC voltages on the rectifier now drop or not. The compressor is speeding up, and I will keep an eye on it. And see the voltages has started to drop, and suddenly the voltages dropped to 148 volts and the motherboard stopped working. They were stable before. Now I understand what the fault is and what to fix in the motherboard, as the electricity is passing through the AC side of the rectifier. This means the filter system installed in this motherboard, its relay, and the other high side components must be checked. I have found the fault in this motherboard. I checked all these filtering parts. The electricity filtering components were fine. The line filter is fine. When I checked its PTC sensor, it is faulty. As if it was not covered in this plastic body, I would have known earlier that it was heating up or not. I checked the PTC sensor for quite a while and found that the PTC sensor was heating up. And due to this, the voltages on both the AC and DC pins were dropping. Also, this relay installed over here was not passing electricity through the circuit. I have changed both these components. Now let's check whether the motherboard works fine after changing these components. The voltages are not dropping, and they are stable. The compressor RPM has also increased. The compressor was stopping in this much time but now it will not. And this is how the problem has been fixed. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.